So there is a ton of drama surrounding Unbox Therapy and his brand new later case. A lot of people are saying it's an exact replica of the Pataka case. There's a whole conspiracy theory and drama going on in the background. And personally, I don't care. If you came here to hear some of that, you're not gonna get it because at the end of the day, I have better things to do. And most importantly, this is just a case. You buy it because you like it. If you don't like it, you buy the Pataka case. If you don't like the Pataka case, you buy something else. That is it. I do have to give Lou some credit though, because instead of just going for the t-shirt, which is what like 99.9% .9 YouTubers do, he went for the case. Now, I don't think it was the best move. I personally would have went for a case that goes on a ThinkPad track point nipple. Like just imagine you have this bare nipple on your keyboard. It's bare all the time, gets a little chilly and it needs a case. And I would personally call it the bra. Now, the Lou Later case is $45 US plus $5 for shipping, and the Pataka case is 66 Canadian dollars. When you do the conversion from 50 to Canadian, it's the exact same price. I bought the Pataka case on Amazon. It came the next day with Prime Delivery. The Lou Later case took an extra day, so one day for processing and one day for shipping. Now, in terms of sex appeal, the Pataka box is nicer. I mean, like it lists the stats of the case, the name of the company, it just looks a lot more appealing. The Lou Later case comes in this black cardboard box. You open it up and then you have another white box. The Pataka sleeve easily slides off. And then when you actually place both of them beside each other, you can tell that the boxes are the exact same size. Besides that, you get no notes, no instructions in the Later case, but you do get a nice little thank you message inside the Pataka box. So the design of both of these cases are obviously very similar. You can see the similarities between both of them. However, there are some differences, especially if you look very closely. The Pataka case is a darker black. It's deeper. The lines that span across it are more emphasized. It has a different feel on the back of it. It's more like a suede material. There's more friction to it. You take this out of your pocket, you're more likely to take your pocket with you. You take the later case out of your pocket, it's just gonna slip out a lot easier. It doesn't have that suede feel to it. Now, the other thing I noticed was the camera bumps. Like, they are exactly the same. I'm not seeing a difference there. However, there's more material being used on the Pataka case. For example, on the bottom, you have a little cutout for the port. Whereas with the later case, Lou decided to use less material and give you access to the entire bottom. The opposite side of the case is also very similar. The big difference is that the camera layout has a thicker border with the Pataka case compared to the later case. The other thing to note is that the direction of the lines are completely opposite from each other. There's some writing inside the Pataka case to notify you about their magnetic mount. Personally, I like the way the later case looks better. It's just significantly cleaner. Now, the next thing to note is flexibility. Like the Pataka case is stiffer. Like it's a lot harder for this case to bend than the later case. However, if I feel I push this too much, it's going to completely snap. The later case bends significantly easier, but I believe that this has a lot more flexibility to it. Like if you bend this case, it's probably gonna be harder to crack this one than it is to crack this one. So both of these cases slip on to my 11 Pro, super easy, like you just snap it on and it's in. The later case does come off easier. Because it's more flexible, you just apply it from the top and you're off. The Pataka case is stiffer, so it goes on just as easy as the later case, but because there is more, I don't know, stiffness to it, you have to pry a tiny bit harder. It's not difficult to take off, but you will notice it if you're playing with both of these cases. Now, the thing we must do before we wrap up this video is find out which case breaks first. So I'm gonna do a bend test. I'm gonna start off with the Pataka case and see which one lasts the longest. So here we go. We're gonna do the same thing with the later case. So obviously you can tell that none of these cases are durable. They're just meant to be kind of skin-like to protect your device from minor accidents. So should you buy these cases? That really comes up to your personal preferences. If you wanna support Lou and unbox therapy, then spend the $50, buy the later case. If you like the Pataka, the feel to it a little bit better, then spend the money on Pataka. Both of these cases are the exact same price. And my advice to you is probably just to wait until one of them discounts it and buy that one, because they're very similar in a lot of ways. Now, whether Lou is copying Pataka, I really personally don't care, but I do think that both of these cases are probably being manufactured from the same supplier. I also think 
The reason why Lou started to create cases is to subsidize Willie Do. Gotta understand, Willie Do doesn't come cheap. Yeah. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think. There goes $100 in cases. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.